So obviously we have known for a while now that Onipixel and his uh, team Drillas has been trying to qualify for the Shanghai Major, try to get uh, that sticker money, and also try to just get a historic and iconic and hilarious, uh, you know, what would be Onipixel sticker into CS2 uh, for history. This would be a big deal. Obviously Onipixel is a very popular uh, just person, popular character, um, popular personality in the scene, and uh, his team has a lot of fans and a lot of people interested in it. Um, and things have been going quite well so far. Obviously they have now made it to the uh, Asian Asian RMRs and they actually have a chance to directly qualify for the, for the Shanghai Major. Uh, but unfortunately today we're going to be talking about some potential bad news uh, and kind of drama going on behind the scenes for Team Drillas right now at what seems to be a pretty inopportune time uh, with the Major starting like five or six weeks from now. Um, so we'll be getting into all that and a little bit more uh, today. But first, just want to mention real quick, my cash trading business. If you guys are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, uh, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. You guys can see here some cases, some capsules, stickers, patches, agents, knives, uh, you know, gloves. If you have any cool skins, whatever, uh, we can probably get a deal done, help you guys cash out quickly, safely, efficiently, all that good stuff. Uh, and you're helping support me, my channel, my content, which would be amazing. With that being said, let's get right into this today. So um, the first thing we need to talk about here, this is kind of where this all started. This is how it came across my plate on Twitter a couple days ago. Amsalem, uh, however you say this guy's name, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, I'm not going to play, uh, I'm not going to play the RMR tournament with Drillas. I want to thank everyone for our shared time. We are all friends outside the game. However, on the server, the atmosphere was not the best as we had different ideas of how to approach the game and I didn't feel comfortable. He says, in the near time, I'll keep working on myself and looking for a stable project where I can show my values as a player. Uh, and the teammates regarding future offers contact my agent. Now, that's pretty crazy. Um, this was very, very unexpected because, again, we know teams sometimes have uh, chemistry issues or difference in uh, play and all that stuff, but usually they just, uh, especially a team like Team Drillas, which is going to be like a short-term project anyway, you know, they're either going to uh, play for this uh, major and get the sticker money or they're not going to, and then the team's most likely going to disband and break up and split apart. You know, I'm, I don't think OniPixel wants this to be like a long-term project or anything like that. That's just me speculating and, and kind of guessing, but I think it's a pretty edgy educated guess. Um, so I'm surprised that they wouldn't, even if they're having issues, that they wouldn't just stick it out and, and see if they can, uh, you know, qualify to this major. But maybe things were getting that bad. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe he felt like, oh, if I, I step down now, my team will have enough time uh, to figure things out. But obviously finding a replacement at this time uh, is probably pretty difficult. And then trying to get them up to speed. And obviously this is the team and roster that they also qualified to these RMRs with in the first place and mixing things up. It could be better, but it, it could also be worse. Um, so this is uh, obviously pretty concerning or I, I, I don't know, yeah, concerning, I guess is the best word. Um, this ultimately led to HLTV, uh, Dust2, whatever, putting out this. Drillas replacing Amsalem with Center1. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how people will feel about that, uh, but uh, yeah, so we got, uh, obviously, Amsalem, his uh, statement in this thread, but uh, Drillas have announced that Center1 will replace Amsalem ahead of their Perfect World Shanghai uh, 2024 Asia RMR campaign set to set, uh, set to start on November 11th, so that tweet was on November 16th. I don't know how long, you know, the team necessarily knew about this before or after or whatever, but it seems like they have about a month to get caught up to speed with Center One uh, and, and trying to figure that out. Uh, Center One, who is most known for his time on Bad News Eagles, returns activity uh, four months after the Kosovar squad disband following the loss of the organizational support. He joins a team to replace Amsalem, uh, Drilla's second lowest rated player. So uh, maybe it's not the worst loss in the world for Drilla's there. Again, I think losing anyone, uh, having to make a replacement, trying to fit somebody else in, that's always going to be tough, but it's not like they're losing like their best player, their top performing player, their top frag or whatever. Um, so that's maybe at least a little bit of a silver lining here. Uh, we do have uh, Drillas, the project backed uh, by German streamer Ona Pixel, came together in August with the aim of qualifying for the major through the Middle East qualifier. They passed the first test in the open stage and made the Middle East RMR close qualifier, where they secured the only RMR spot on offer after a win against Onyx Ravens. Since then, the team has competed in several online uh, cups with limited success and has now enacted a roster change ahead of their trip to, Ch to China. Uh, Center One, who is listed on the team's uh, Asia RMR roster as a substitute, will now replace Amsalem uh, for the rest of the team's event, including the RMR in Shanghai. Uh, the Asia RMR is set to run from November. November 11 to 13th uh, with World 2K's squad among the outsiders for one of uh, the three coveted major spots. Uh, Drill's opening match in Shanghai will come against Lin Vision. Now, I think that's kind of interesting because we actually do take a look at, uh, you know, the HLTV uh, for the Perfect World Shanghai Major 2024 uh, Asia RMR. According to the teams attending, uh, they actually have Drill is ranked as the fourth best team. Now, again, you have to finish top three in this thing to actually qualify, uh, but it doesn't seem like it'd be that, like, far of an outside shot for Team Drills to qualify. Now, again, I don't know how this is going to uh, be affected by Amsterdam coming down 
down and, and center one going up or whatever. Uh, but again, there are some definitely some strong teams in this. Mongols, FlyQuest ranked uh, both in the top like 25. Lynn Vision, we know they were just at the uh, most recent. Uh, obviously, the Copenhagen Major, we know about their stickers and everything like that. So, you know, the drills are not favored. The drills are not expected to get out of this, but uh the crazier things have happened, crazier upsets have happened. Uh, it's going to be a tough road for sure, um, especially trying to make substitutes and changes last minute. But if center one can come in and maybe fix some of the issues they're having behind the scenes or in game or uh, some of those chemistry issues, this could be a very, very big thing. Now, um, this move has also caused some other controversy going on, as many people have said. Uh, also, this comes from the manager of Drillis. He says, uh, today, uh, Amsalem will be taking step uh, off the starting lineup and be replaced by our sub. Center one will play the rest of the events, including the RMR in Shanghai. Thank you to Amsalem for everything he's done for the Drillis stack to date so uh, yeah, just kind of a uh, kind of blanket statement there from uh, one of the managers for Team Drills, obviously. But uh, this is some of the drama and some of the things we got other people around the community saying uh, on top of all the drama that obviously a roster change this late before the major is already going to cause. Um, some people said, are we going to continue to piss off the Middle East qualifiers by changing the rules? 15 days before the start of the Open qualifiers, they changed the dates of the close to allow certain teams to travel to Dubai. And now we agree to play with only two players from the Middle East. Stop bothering with the European circuit uh, when you can fuck with the rules so easily. Um, pretty crazy and then Haji uh, actually responds and uh, just like shows um, the drill is beating the Onyx Ravens uh, I don't know if this guy yeah this guy is uh, the coach for the Onyx Ravens I guess I didn't even know I didn't, I didn't even get that far into it but um, yeah just kind of post the fact that they beat them and, and calls them small and little or whatever um, yeah, kind of funny obviously this got crazy but yeah a lot of people asking about this is these were definitely not the only tweets about this thing um, for an Asian RMR again people saying hey uh, this new drill is team without Am Salem and it is not a uh, Asian team. Uh, this is a, a European team or a majority European team. How are they able to play in this thing? And I don't think we're. I don't think we've really gotten an official statement. I don't know if we're gonna get an official statement from like Valve or the tournament organizers or whatever. Um, but again, this guy Professor CS saying Drillos will play the Asia RMR with a core of EU players. Three out of five uh, verdict. Thumbs down. Explanation. Not gonna put it on Twitter because the platform is ass. Uh, I hate when people do stupid shit like that. Like just explain your reasoning. Explain your point. Give us the explanation. That's what we're here for. Don't just say some stupid stuff. Uh, not, not even stupid stuff. Obviously, you're saying a good thing here, but my point is don't just say something or like put out an opinion or put out a piece or whatever and then not uh, explain it more in depth because you don't think Twitter can handle it or whatever. I don't know. That always rubs me the wrong way. Uh, unfortunately, this is a direct... Uh, this is also pretty interesting. Uh, this person giving their opinion. Unfortunately, this is a direct result of not having a proper coach. The five of them were thrown together and told to figure it out themselves. Obviously, Waro is IGL and will take the lead, but having a proper coach to give them a concrete game plan uh, would have or maybe could have avoided this. And that's honestly a big thing too. For whatever reason, Onipixel has been uh, listed as the head coach. I don't know why. Um, it seems like a head coach or a coach, strategic coach, whatever, is a pretty vital and important part of a roster. I don't know if maybe the roster wasn't interested in a coach and they just thought they'd be able to do it or if they didn't have money or if they wanted to save money by not getting a coach. But um, yeah, throwing in Onipixel as the, the de facto coach, uh, you know, whatever kind of meme that is, uh, seems pretty silly, seems pretty stupid and seems like, hey, if we're going to actually throw together a team and put the time, money, resources, everything together, um, why would we kind of half-ass it by not having a coach or by having only Pixel as coach or whatever? It does seem a little bit stupid, and maybe the team is starting to see some of the uh, detriments or the, the cons and negatives of that uh, by having some in-game issues on, on f figuring out a strategy or a play style or a way to mesh together. And yeah, like this person says, you know, that is actually a way that uh, coaches come in pretty handy. Um, Osney tweeting out this, Only Pixels team drills had a lineup change. Uh, Amslam will be replaced by center one. Again, the statements, all that stuff, uh, obviously. And then more people talking about how is that allowed? Playing Asia RMR with three EU players. Surely there's something we don't know regarding a second nationalities. Otherwise, it sets a dangerous precedent. Uh, Mr. Rulebook had the same feelings about it. Again, we already talked about that. Uh, I know some people are like, hey, does that have to do with the fact that since he's their sub, does he not really have to qualify? Which... Again, that still kind of sets a bad precedent. That still would be a big issue, uh, potentially. And then happy to be corrected if I'm wrong and miss a second nationality somewhere, but doesn't this mean they have an EU majority of players in the Asia RMR? Sets a very dangerous precedent. Substitutions uh, shouldn't allow you to circumvent the regional requirements. So uh, I don't know. Lots of drama, lots of negativity, lots of question marks surrounding Own and Pixel and Team Drillas. Maybe we'll get a statement or update from, like I said, tournament organizers or rules officials or whatever at some point. Um, but either way, like I said, and many people have said, uh, drill is not even necessarily expected to make it out of this RMR, but crazier things have happened. It's definitely still possible. Um, but I'm sure all this drama and controversy and question marks this close to the qualifiers is, uh, you know, not necessarily a good thing or not necessarily increasing their chances, but we'll have to wait and see how the team uh, is able to handle and, and combat through this. Maybe they'll come out the other side stronger than ever.
we'll have to wait and see. Pretty much it was video today, guys. Hope we catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.